today you're going to learn how to make a delicious hot winter boba tea that I created called Taro Nut. I released this drink back in 2016 for my shop's hot winter drink menu, and it was a huge hit. I'm delighted to be able to share with you this recipe today. I have loads of other amazing autumn and winter, hot and cold winter drink options available for you on my YouTube playlist. I'll be sure to put that in the description below so you can check it out after this video. And this drink today is part of my winter drinks recipe packet available on my website. So let's get started. Because our recipe calls for 100 milliliters of black tea, let's go ahead and get our tea brewing. And if you're making this at your shop, you will already have pre-brewed black tea, so you can go ahead and skip this step. I'm going to be using a loose leaf awesome black tea today, just a tablespoon, I'm gonna pop that in right there. And then using just boiled water, we're going to measure out 125 milliliters. The reason why we're doing 125 is just because the tea itself tends to absorb a little bit and we wanna make sure that we have 100 precisely for our recipe. And I'm going to pour that in here. Give it a little bit of a swirl. Make sure all the tea leaves are combined there with the water. Cover it up and set a timer for 10 minutes. While the tea is brewing, we're going to move on to the next step. In today's recipe, I'm using vegan powders. 100% vegan? Yes. There's an exclusive range coming out in the bubble tea industry soon. This is a sample bag direct from the factory, so that's why it's in this small packet size. But of course, this recipe today will be perfect for any bubble tea powder that you have. But remember, not all powders are created equal. Some might be sweeter, the flavors might be slightly different. So just bear that in mind when making this recipe. I also wanted to show you two different brands of great tasting hazelnut syrup. They each vary in flavor slightly and one is a little sweeter than the other. So just like with these syrups, these powders and whatever you have at your shop, you might need to tweak the recipe slightly. With that being said, Let's begin. So first is two flat brown scoops of the taro bubble tea powder. And if you have ube flavor, you can definitely use that as well. In that case, it would just be ube nut instead of taro nut. And this is just an industry standard brown bubble tea scoop. This one happens to be just over a tablespoon. Next is two flat scoops of the bubble tea creamer powder. In my shop, all of my syrups had pumps. And I know that this one was approximately 7.7 .7 milliliters, but let's just call it 7.5. Each pump for each different brand that you have of syrups will yield a different amount. So wherever you are getting your pumps from or whatever company or brand or whatever, just go ahead and make sure you measure it. And then that way you know the different measurements for all the different pumps in your shop. So I would have done two pumps, pump, pump and that would have given me 15 milliliters. So for this video, I'm just going to measure it out in here. And I'm going to put my 15 milliliters of the hazelnut syrup into my shaker. This next step with the fructose is optional. I know for this recipe today with these products that I'm using, I need one teaspoon, which is approximately seven milliliters of fructose, but I have made this before in the past with different products and different brands, and it actually didn't need any sweetness added at all. But like I said, for today's drink, I'm going to add one teaspoon of fructose powder. From your hot water dispenser in your shop, you're going to measure out 200 milliliters of just boiled water. That can be anywhere between 75 to 80 in Celsius, and I'll leave the conversions in the description below. You don't need to be too concerned about the temperature of this hot water because we are going to be adding in that black tea and that black tea will either be room temperature or cold, so it will be fine for the customer to drink right away, no problem. And simply pour this into your shaker and stir until combined. This is a beautiful color and it smells great too. Now measure out 100 milliliters of the black tea. Eight. 
and pour the black tea into your shaker. And now we are ready to compile our drink. Now, because I'm making this today as a vegan version, I won't be putting any squirty cream on top, but they do have some that does come vegan. What I will be doing instead is putting some desiccated coconut and sprinkling it on top. But of course, if you are doing this with regular products, I would highly recommend putting some squirty cream or whipping cream on top and give it that nice peak. And then of course, you can also put the coconut on top as well. There's definitely something about having whipped cream on top of a nice hot drink holding it in your hand, it definitely brings in that winter holiday feeling. So even with bubble tea for hot winter drinks, I always recommend it. Add your topping of choice to your glass and then carefully pour it in. I've got my cute reusable glass straw and let's give it a try. Cheers. So, so good. Just absolutely the perfect amount of hazelnut. I wouldn't go any more and I wouldn't go any less. That's definitely perfect. You get some of the little coconut bits in there as well, which is really nice. It kind of gives it a little bit of texture. And then of course, if you did have a topping in there as well, I would definitely recommend boba, but you can experiment with other types of toppings too. The crunchiness of the coconut and the chewiness of the boba really goes well together. So I definitely recommend that topping for this drink. This one is so, so good. I can't wait for you to try it either at home or in your cafe. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll see you again soon. Take care.